In this video, we're not going to sit here and answer questions like what is online arbitrage because chances are if you're watching this video, you already know what online arbitrage is and you're interested in how to do it. So in this video, what we're going to look at is the key data points of a product to make sure it's actually something you want to buy, to make sure that it has high probability of being profitable, and to make sure that you don't lose money. Here are some data points that I look at to qualify a buy for Amazon. All right, everyone. Now, before we get started, I have to let you know, absolutely have to let you know that everything that I'm about to show you, you are not going to be able to see unless you have something called Keepa. This is a Keepa graph and it has a lot of data points that you're going to need to be able to see if you want to do online arbitrage or even retail arbitrage. Having Keepa is a must. Now, it's a paid subscription. All right. You're going to have to pay for this. It's something it's less than $20 a month. It's even less than that if you go ahead and just get it by the year. But it's an absolute necessity for doing online arbitrage. OK, so go ahead and get Keepa. There's a link in the description that'll get you to Keepa. Please use that link and also try the code history to get some uh, dollars off your monthly subscription. All right. So basically, guys, we've got some online arbitrage leads, which we found using tactical arbitrage. I'm not going to talk about the software. You guys should know what it is. If you don't know what it is, I'll link a video up top right now. Go and check that out. It is tactical arbitrage and uh, you use it to find online arbitrage deals, right? So I'm going through here and we're just going to pick some products and look at the data a little bit better and not just go off face value because you never want to go off just what you see the data points you see here you want to always qualify buys for yourself that doesn't matter whether you're using tactical arbitrage or another online arbitrage software or if you're subscribed to a leads list or facebook group or anything like that guys you have to qualify these leads for yourself in this video right here it's going to walk you through that process so let's go ahead and start with that first product that i was showing you this one here nordic naturals okay it looks like you can buy it for $45 here at pureformulas.com and then it looks appears to sell on Amazon for $78.95 and the profit looks like it will be $18.65 or 41% ROI now like I said those numbers look great everything looks like it makes sense let's buy this product and sell it uh, if you are a rookie that's what you would do but you really want to look at the data a little further so we're going to move over to the listing page here and we're going to check out the keep a graph now what i like to look for first is whether or not amazon has a history of selling this product and you can see on this graph that amazon is not present over the last three months they're not even a clickable uh, button over here on this side but if you're not familiar with keepa you don't really know what uh, selling on amazon looks like this is amazon right here this is amazon on a keepa graph it's going to be orange it's going to be shaded orange and you can see them as an option over here on this side but this particular listing does not have amazon as a seller on it so that's good news right we know we're not going to have to compete with amazon now the next data point that i like to look at is going to be the pricing history because i want to make sure that the current pricing isn't uh over inflated like it's not something that's crazy it's it's normal pricing it's consistent pricing uh, it helps me kind of reduce the risk of a product just going from profit to zero by the time it actually gets into the warehouse so we can use the graph up here to kind of determine that pricing history and you can see that it's pretty consistent over the last three months the uh, fba offers and the buy box have all kind of been around this 45 dollars mark you can see it right here fairly fairly consistent up until the last week or so when it's kind of jumped up to 69 over here right there that little third party buy box 69.95 prime on january 10th you can also scroll down here to statistics and get a kind of an overall view of it. That way you don't have to go through the graph. You can see the new pricing, the used pricing and the sales rank history right here. All the averages. Now the lowest was 23 back in 2014. The average though is what I like to look at. So average last 90 days, 49.84. The last 180 days, $44.09. So this pricing right now where it's set at, where tactical arbitrage caught it at, the uh, 7895 you can see that that price is in fact overinflated and tactical arbitrage does give you the average pricing information here so you can kind of get it at a glance that this 
price may be a little high and that profit may deteriorate as the pricing returns back to normal but we're looking at the keeper graph because we want to see that information now if you're not comfortable with the chart you don't like looking at these little dots and squares and triangles and all these colorful buttons you can go to the data area and it'll break all that stuff down for you in words and numbers and you can look at all the uh, data points right here laid out for you so either way, we'll give you the information that you want to look at. So whatever makes you feel more comfortable, if you want like the chart, you can chart it all out. If not, you can use the data. So that was the pricing part of it. We already revealed that the pricing is a little bit overinflated. It's not really the average for this particular product. But if it was consistent, if that pricing was consistent, the next data point that I want to look at is sales history. We're now going to start to look at those sales ranks and look at that sales history to see whether or not this product is consistently selling. So online arbitrage, probably if you take anything out of this, the data points that you are looking for have to be consistent. You want to see them as consistent as possible because that's how you're going to reduce your risk. Now, I'm not saying don't take risk. I'm saying that if you are just a beginner starting out, it is important to uh, reduce the risk, right? Because you want to ultimately succeed in this business. And if you're taking lots of risk in the beginning, you're losing a lot of money in the beginning, you're not really playing the game the smart way in the beginning, you're going to give up really, really early on because you're not going to be able to make it. So limiting that risk up front pocketing that cash churning over that uh, amazon payment each and every time you get it right invest that money back into your business don't take any profits for the first few months you know and then after you get that snowball rolling and then after you start seeing those profits get higher and those amazon payouts get a little bit bigger then you can start to take more risks now that's just my opinion you know you can do this business however you want but this video really just exists to help you you know uh, reduce the mistakes that you're going to make in the very beginning because i definitely took a lot of risk when i first started i did not look at all of these data points when i first started and i can tell you that i did lose money on retail arbitrage and online arbitrage in the very beginning and if i had quit right then and there you would not be able to even see videos like this because I would have just dropped out. But anyways, okay, that was a cool, complete sidebar. But let's get into the sales rank data points now. Okay, so here's the sales rank. You see the current is 10,000. The average is under 10,000 still, 5,000, 5,000, average 180 days. Uh, 4,919. Now we can look at the sales rank drops. Now you can use the sales rank drops as kind of a gauge on how much this product sells, but you cannot uh, say for sure that, okay, this product sells 91 times a month because it could in fact sell more than that. But I use the sales rank drops as a gauge of how fast and how quick this product sells. So if we just go off of the drops, and we say the product sells 91 times in 30 days, then you can, you know, just guesstimate that this product sells three times every single day. So we know this product sells. Here's the data. Let's go back to the chart just so I can show you what that looks like. Just the sales rank only. So the sales rank is the green charted line. You can see that it's a lower down here to zero, zero being super, super fast sales all the time, right? And the best seller rank goes from zero and on up. So if you see something hovering up, it's probably uh, doesn't sell as fast. If you see it hugging the zero, the very bottom, it's a good indicator that it's a very, very fast seller. So you can see this is pretty close, right? And then it kind of goes up a little bit and this is where that price increased. So that is why the sales rank increased, right? Pricing goes up, uh, the demand goes down because not everybody wants to pay that high price. But you can look at the green line. You can go down to the statistics and look at the sales rank there, or you can look at the data and look at the drops here. Any one of those options will give you a good view and a good indication of whether or not a product is selling. So for comparison, let's look at a product that really isn't selling. This is over 75 days. Here's the green plotted sales rank line. You can see it sells a little bit over the last 75 days but not very much you can see the the graph isn't very busy as far as sales rank go whereas you look at this one you can see the business of it it's all over the place additionally again you can go to the data product uh, the data portion of it right and look at that information as well we can look at the drops sales rank drops in the last 90 days seven so this is not a product that sells very often as compared to something like this so now we know right we know amazon's not selling this product we know the pricing consistency or history of it we know that this product the pricing right now is overinflated but we also know that it sells a lot 
So after reviewing those data points, Amazon selling it, pricing history, sales velocity, if all those boxes are checked for me, the next thing that I look at is competition. Okay, now word about competition, just because there's a certain amount of sellers on a product does not mean that every single seller on that listing is your competition. Your competition is mostly going to be the people that are priced around that buy box area. Good news is, is that Keepa gives you buy box statistics. So again, we're going to go to the data tab and go over to buy box statistics and we can see who primarily holds the buy box for this item. 38% one or the last 30 days is Nordic Naturals, who's actually the supplier of the product. So again, just try to remove that information, right? We're just looking at how to analyze these deals. I'm not necessarily trying to qualify this exact product as a purchase. So if I saw, you know, Nordic Naturals or the supplier or the brand or whatever on the listing, it's probably a listing that I would not sell. So just pretend that that's another seller. But 38% going to this person, 22% going to this person, 12%, 8%, 7%. You can see the breakdown of the buy box and all of these prices are around this $45 mark. So these folks could be your potential competition or at least you know that these folks are getting the buy box with this pricing now you want to dig in a little deeper you want to look at the offers on the listing currently to see whether or not any of these sellers are on it you want to see whether or not any of these sellers are merchant fulfilled sellers or are they fba sellers and then you want to see how much of this product they actually have in stock and you can see how much they have in stock by using Keepa. Keepa actually reveals that data as well. So those are your basic key points, your data points that you need to be looking at. I like to see whether or not Amazon is selling the product. What is their situation? Are they going to come back in stock and tank the price and I'm going to lose money? What does Amazon's history look like? After that, I want to look at the pricing consistency. Is the pricing of this product currently overinflated? Is it underinflated? Will that pricing come back up? Will that pricing go down further? I want to check it out and look at the history to make an educated buying decision. After that, I like to look at the sales history. Does this product sell consistently? Do I think that I could come in and compete and actually get sales with this product? Does that sales rank justify the amount of sellers and the competition of this product? I like to look at the competition last because after all those boxes are checked, I want to make sure that I can actually compete. Now there's more data points that we can look at. We can definitely dive further into this product, but I think that I've given you enough for now. If you are a beginner, focus on these four data points and I guarantee you, you will help to reduce the risk of losing money in your online arbitrage journey. Now there's no guarantees with Amazon. There's no guarantees in anything in life, but I think that if you work smart and you look at all the data points that Keepa provides, first of all, go get Keepa. You have to have Keepa. If you look at all the points that Keepa provides, you can help reduce the risk and get towards your goal of profiting on Amazon a lot, lot faster. My name is Josh, everydayfba.com is my website. There's going to be more videos just like this to come where we analyze different products and different leads. So be sure and subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more and look in the description for a bunch of different resources to help you along the way. I'll catch you guys on that next online arbitrage video. If you are a brand new Amazon FBA seller or you want to learn how to start selling on Amazon FBA, you want to get into selling used media books, CDs, DVDs, you want to start doing some retail arbitrage, some online arbitrage. If you want to learn more about all this awesome stuff and how you can make money on Amazon and make money online in general, look in the description. There's going to be a ton of links to help you get started. There's going to be some free resources, some free trainings, and also some other paid stuff, some good softwares, some good tools, everything that I use to run my Amazon FBA business. If you are a new seller, you want to know where to start, look in the description, check out those links.